shalom friends a pleasant good afternoon to you it's a friday october 21st and i am here i just finished my little afternoon devotion right as you can see i'm still here on my knees by my bedside and i just want to share it with whoever wants to hear okay so as many of you are already know i read from the sefer right and the reason being that i have been searching for the truth for years and this is what the most i has brought to my attention and i have never regret reading this sefer there's so much information isn't it so much that has been taken from the king james version and we've been taught so many things which is not true but as i always plead if you can please get the sefer for those who really truly mean the most i will all right i know that my lighting is not perfect at this moment because as you all can see my lighting is really on this side you know what let me turn on the other light give me a second please all right uh, i think it's a little bit better but i'm not the main focus here the word is the main focus right so this is just my afternoon reading my little devotion i just finished praying and it feels so good i add a little reading here from the book of chanak chapter 40 verse 1 to the end chanak in hebrew enoch in english okay i'm telling you the word tell us that eyes have not seen neither here neither have it ever entered into the art of man the things that the most i have in store for them who love him i am rejoicing i just want to run this race and do everything that was assigned to my life as much as i can when i fall i just have to get back and continue this race because there is so much in store for us so much all right so i am so excited here because i'm just encouraged and i just want to encourage someone who is on this same journey no the bible do talks about enoch but we didn't get a lot about enoch you know we didn't hear the ending of enoch what really took place the bible said he was translated meaning he didn't died all right so what happened what really happened now for you to know what really happened after enoch had translated to be the most high i implore you please get the cipher you will know all right but hear the reading chanak chapter 40 and it starts like this after this i beheld thousands of thousands and myriads of myriads and an infinite number of people Standing before Yahuwah Sevoat in the King James Version, this will say the Lord of hosts. All right, on the four wings, likewise of Yahuwah Sevoat, on the four sides, I perceive others beside those who were standing. Their names, too, I know because the Malachim, aka Angel, who proceeded with me, declared them to me discovering to me every secret things then i heard the voices of those upon the four sides magnifying yahuwah of glory the first voice bless yahuwah savwat forever and ever the second voice i heard blessing the elect ones and the elect who suffer on account of yahuwah savwat the third voice i heard petitioning and praying for those who dwell upon the earth and supplicate the name of yahuwah sevoat the fourth voice i heard expelling the impious angels all right and prohibiting them from entering into the presence of yahuwah sevoat to accuse the inhabitants of the earth after this I besought the Malachim of peace who proceeded with me to explain all that was concealed. I said to him, who are those I have seen on the four sides and whose words 
I have heard and written down. He replied, The first is the merciful and patient, the holy Michael, who we know as Michael. The second is he who is over every suffering and every affliction of the sons of men, the holy Raphael. The third, who is over all that is powerful, is Gabriel, a.k.a. Gabriel. And the fourth, who is over repentance and the hope of those who will inherit eternal life, is Penuel. These are the four Malachim of Hel Helion, hallelujah, and their four voices, which at that time I heard. This is so sweet. This is so promising. And the thing is, Yahweh didn't leave us, you know, um, wondering. We have it here in the book of Chanak. Chanak was translated to see and to be all the secret things of Yah. And for my little encouragement, there is so much in store for us who who are here on the earth, who are holding up the bloodstained banner of Yahusha. This walk is not easy. It is a rough walk. It's a tough walk and a spiritual walk. But if we hold on to the unchanging hands of Yahusha, the son of the Most Ayah, we can make it. We can make it. We just need to ask for spiritual blinders. So we can focus on the spiritual things. Paul said it in the book of Philippians. Whatsoever things is pure. Whatsoever things is honest. Whatsoever is of good report. If there be any praise. If there be any virtue. Think on these things. This is a mindset that the, that the child of the most I must have. And we can do it if we just hold on to Yahusha. If we just hold on, if we just read the word daily, we become stronger, stronger, stronger every day until one day we hear as these great patriarchs, these great men that were before us. Well done, my good and faithful servants. Are you working for that? I am trying my best. Every day I'm trying my best to work very hard. I am trying the word tells us that we die daily. We die daily. But the thing is, we have a savior who is on this same journey. He came here as an example. He has walked this hurt for us to know that we can do it. Remember, he came in flesh. And he had the same temptation, even worse. But he made it. You know why? Because he had a constant relationship with the Most High, who is his father. He's her father as well. If he can do it for his son, we are his son too. We are his daughters too. He will definitely do it for us, but we just have to do what Yahusha did. Yahusha stayed connected. He stayed connected. These other great patriarchs, Moses, Abraham, Isaac, these great men, Noah, all these men, they press on with the most high. You and I can do it. Anyways, I just want to leave this word to bless your heart. Stay focused. Yahweh have so much in store for us. Until then, we will meet in the next one. Shalom. Have a blessed rest of your Friday afternoon. Say thank you.